This backpack is one of the most clever layouts and designs of a everyday carry bag that I've come across. It's the North Face Caban or Cabin. I think it's Caban 2.0. K-A-B-A-N. North Face Caban 2.0 backpack. We're gonna get into it. There's a lot of stuff to like, a few things that I don't like, but this, ba this bag is cool. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendrick Dish. On this channel, we look at the things that we carry, the things we use to make stuff, and some business ideas. So uh, I'm a video producer and a photographer, and I carry bags and backpacks around with me a lot. And I just really like to test and play with this kind of stuff. So really clever, really smart bag. Um, in fact, I, I'm finding out new stuff about it even when I sat down to record this video. I was like, oh, look at that. All right, let's introduce this bag a little bit. This material is a very, it's a polyester and it's from a recycled method. It's recycled polyester. Technically, let's talk about, I gotta read the notes here. It says it's a 300D recycled polyester TPU laminate, non PFC DWR finish. Well, that's a mouthful, but it basically means that this kind of a uh, very water resistant shell on this part. And this part covers the whole front of the bag. It's not the same material as the sides. The bottom is a much thicker uh, Cordura. It's a uh, 680D ballistic nylon, non PFC DWR finish. Um, the sides here, I'm not sure what the sides are made out of. Um, but what they're basically saying is this bag is pretty water resistant. I feel pretty good about the, the protections of that. Oh, I didn't pour water on it. The zippers, of course, are your weak point. Um, they're not really weatherproofed zippers. They don't have the aqua guard. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take this in a uh, rainstorm without a cover. It is a top loader style bag, meaning the main way that you get in and out of the bag is through the top. But one of the things I like about this bag a whole lot is it has a whole bunch of exterior pocketry so you don't always have to get into the bag all that often. It's got pockets all over the place. We're going to get into that. It is a 29 liter bag. At least that's what the website says. 29 liters. It feels about like that. Uh, maybe just a hair bit smaller. I don't know, but let's call it 29. It weighs two pounds and 13 ounces when totally empty. That is a little bit heavy, I would say, but it's within, obviously within range, within tolerations, it's not that big of a deal, um, especially for this heavier material that gives you that water resistant coating. And as with all of North Face products, it comes with a lifetime warranty. So if you have any issues, they will take care of you. Okay, let's point out the elephant in the room here. It's not a small elephant, it's a, it's a humongous elephant, which is, this logo on the front. This is a all black bag with a gigantic North Face logo right on the front. Now, <laughs> I think this bag would look so much better with a dark logo, um, but this is a reflective logo. So you get the reflective properties of that brighter color. It's just, it's quite a contrast, the white on the black, and it's it, it ruins what an otherwise is a uh, very sleek, design here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I think this bag is for the tech oriented commuter daily carry. Uh, it, it has a lot of the features that a tech oriented commuter or daily carry type of person who like is like me. This bag is designed for somebody like me. I don't go hiking all that much and I carry around my tech in and I want to take it places. So uh, it's a very tech friendly bag and that starts with the tech pocket which is accessible here in the top so let's get right into that pocket there we go this tech pocket is one of the best i've seen in any bag i've looked at so that's saying a whole lot because i looked at a lot of bags the great thing about this is it has so much built-in organization you don't need pouch system if you've got this much organization. 
So as you can see, we have a, let's just start with this pocket. This pocket right here has quite a bit of depth. Um, it's perfect for a laptop charger and a cord. And it just zips up and you've got that. Of course it has the two pin holder pockets. It's got a pocket right here that is large enough for field notes. This is worth checking out. It's the Huckberry Aaron Draplin collab field notes. Uh, check it out. There's a link in the description. It's got a spot for, it's got two spots for cards, a taller one and a shorter one. So you can put your business cards in there. It's got the little cable organizers, three of them right here. And it's got a zipper here with a, a pocket that doesn't have a whole lot of depth, but you can put maybe like a passport or a couple of uh, folded papers in there. Something that doesn't take up much space. Back behind, there is a, another spot. This can hold like a smaller iPad or iPad mini, but it also holds a notebook, the moleskin style notebook. Uh, it's got a fleece pad here, fleece liner here, so it can hold, so the screen of the iPad can be protected. Um, it doesn't go that far down, but it's perfect for something of this size. We also have pockets right here and here. And the, it's great because when you, open the bag, this comes out and you can still access these pockets, but the stuff doesn't fall out. It's got these little lids that keep the stuff in the pocket. You can see in this pocket, I've got, I've got the laptop, 13 inch MacBook Pro charger and cord. They fit in there just fine. It does take a little bit of finagling to pop them out, but that's good because they're not gonna fall out accidentally. In this side, this pocket's a little bigger on this side. It can hold my wireless Bose headphones. This one's, I, I was pushing it just a little bit to get them in there, but we got headphones. So one of the reasons, just a little design, just, you know, if you're looking at this bag, you wanna know, I originally had the laptop charger in this little square pocket right here and I had the headphones in this pocket, but they pushed up against each other in that, they took up the same geographic area in the bag and they pressed up, pressed up against each other so much that I didn't feel comfortable squeezing it that hard. So I moved, I moved the iPad, the charger over to this side and that worked out great. Now, what you don't see, what you are, you know, maybe can't see is actually there's more. There's a pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And in that pocket, I've got my, set up for going into the coffee shops or going to work somewhere else. A little wireless keyboard. That pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. So it would work pretty well for putting a notebook in there or putting a taller item pretty much like this. And that works out really well. So as you can see, we're starting to, to find some hidden space in this bag. Let's zip this pocket back up. And let's look at this pocket right on the front. It is decently sized, but my basically about the size of my hand. And it has just a tiny bit of depth. Right now I've got a snack bar in there. And that's it. But uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily put glasses in here because I feel like this bag is gonna, you're gonna scrunch them. Uh, it has a, what I th think is kind of like a hidden pocket. It's not that hidden, but it took me a couple days of using the bag to realize it was there. But there's another pocket here, which gives you access to a pretty decently sized pocket here. I think this notebook is kind of about the maximum size object that's gonna go in there. You can zip that up. And so now you have that notebook hidden in there. Uh, it, it's pretty tight, depending on how much stuff you have put in the main pocket. On this side, it's got water bottle pocket. Very stretchy material, good sized. And right now what I have in here is the Roost uh, laptop stand for when you're out and about. Is another water bottle pocket. This water bottle pocket is currently holding a 32 ounce thermos style water bottle. This is the purest water bottle uh, it's 32 ounces, very nice shape. And the cool thing about this one is it whole, it has a glass lined interior. 
So instead of just being metal, where sometimes you can taste the metal when you drink a water or you drink a liquid out of here, um, this one has a glass lined interior, so you don't taste any water, but you still get the properties of double insulated uh, metal. And you know, it's pretty fancy tech here in this water bottle. So link to that is in the description as well. But the fact that it can hold a 32 ounce size water bottle pocket without much effort, it goes in there just fine. And I could probably put, I can feel, I feel like I could probably fit the roof stand in there too. So there's, there's a little room to spare in there. Um, and, and, and because I wanted to test how big these water bottle pockets were, I decided to test it with my 52 ounce Yeti thermos here. So let's see. And would you, would you look at that? It goes in there. I feel like that's stretching it pretty far, but, um, but it does work. The downside of these, both of these water bottle pockets and some of these other pockets is it, it actually takes up the interior of the main volume. These are not pockets in addition to the main pocket. They are pockets that take up space of the main volume. So keep that in mind as you, as you pack this out. Not many, not many water bottle pockets hold 52 ounces. On the bottom of the water bottle pocket is a small hole. So I guess the water can drip out if needed. The liquid, the dirt, the grime, all the leaves or whatever the hell you got floating around in there actually has a way out. Now, interestingly enough, up here in the top side on both sides, underneath this little tiny corner is a, a little hook, a little spot to put a carabiner or something. So you can attach, uh, it's an attachment point. So you can have a spot to attach it, but it lives right up on there, tucked away. You won't even know it's there if you're not looking for it. Now, spinning around to the back, we've got backpack straps. These are not stowable and there is no waist belt, but they're pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable straps. I think they're, they're a high density foam. They've got attachment points along the way here and a little logo on the shoulder, plus a adjustable sternum strap. The sternum strap works by sliding along a rail, just like that, no big deal. And it's removable if you don't like it. No load lifters, but at the top, there is a handle for hanging the bag or lifting the bag from this position. A lot of everyday carry bags uh, and commuter bags don't put a luggage pass-through in their bags. And I think that's a mistake. North Face has decided to include a luggage pass-through on this bag, which is quite a nice unexpected bonus. The back padding is quite comfortable. I didn't feel any issues, but I do think when I've got it fully loaded with the laptop and the stuff, the other stuff inside this pocket, it does bulge a little bit in some way, but there's quite a bit of padding here and it's not a problem. It's a pretty comfortable bag overall. Let's take a quick look at the laptop pocket because I think that's another spot where they did some good interior design work. Check that out. So uh, what you can see is I actually have more than a laptop in there. There's three different sections in this pocket. In the back section, the one that's closest to your back, it is uh, fleece lined or felt lined. I'm not sure which. I think maybe a little felt and a little fleece. It's lined with protective material on both sides. And in that I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, I will put on the screen right here how much of a, how big of a laptop this can hold. I, it had plenty of room for my 13 inch in the middle pocket. It doesn't go down as deep, but that is the place for an iPad. Perfect place for an iPad. So I've got my iPad in there. Now I want to show you guys a little bit about this iPad case for just a second. Skip ahead if you don't care, but this iPad case is quite cool because a, it has a, a spot for a, the pencil and it's got a, a spot for your hand, which is nice. It's also got a little spot here so that you can stand the laptop or the, I'm sorry, the iPad up. And it's got these connections 
where you can put a strap to it and, and wear it like a, a messenger bag style. And I use this setup when I am directing video productions on set. I wear the iPad around my neck and I don't have to have my hands always tied up holding onto it when I'm shooting video wirelessly to the iPad. So I can hang it when I'm not needing it and hold it up and I can show the client standing next to me what they think and it works out quite well. The link to this is available in the description. And in the front pocket of this section, I have a, another item. This is a 16 inch portable USB-C monitor. And I use this as a second monitor when I am working remote. So I got the, the roost stand, I got the, I got the laptop, I got this other monitor connected USB and I feel like I can get some editing done. Um, it's hard to edit video on a 13 inch or photos too. It's hard to edit anything on a 13 inch screen, but when you got a 16 inch screen over here next to you, you can lay out your timeline and have all your assets over on the other screen. It works out pretty well. And when I travel and I still want to get some work done, I feel like this is a necessary thing to carry around. This is the ViewSonic VG1655. I haven't had any issues with this. I'm sure there are nicer ones, but this has gotten the job done for me. With all those things in there, I really got all my tech items. I got my either a second laptop or a, a second monitor. I got the iPad, I got the computer, and not as many bags give you that many spaces to put stuff. And those go all the way down, but they don't go all the way to the bottom. So there's a little bit of a protection so as you drop the bag, if you, if you drop the bag, you're not hitting the ground with those items. As you can see, this bag is standing up by itself. That's a little bit of a trick. It's not, it's not a big trick, it's a little trick, but the bag will not stand up by itself when it's empty. The, the bottom, it needs something large and, and stable in the bottom of this main section. So let's, let's look at this main section. It's a big, fat, chunky North Face zipper. It's a very beefy zipper right there. But it works great. I mean, it, it fantastically pulls around. When you open this, there's no pockets here, which I think it would be cool to consider maybe some organization here as well, but since there's so much good organization on this side, I, I, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It might be interesting to have a, a quick little access pocket up here as well, but um, totally not needed. So in here's, I just want to show you guys what all I have in here. So I just have a book, you know, sometimes you want to read, this is Stephen King's On Writing. Uh, starting to read this book, it's pretty interesting. Uh, just see what Stephen King has to say about the craft of writing. I've got a couple of pouches. This is the supplies for the second monitor, which I don't really need, but I carry when I have it just in case. This is the Mystery Ranch small spiff kit. Uh, I'm currently using it as a tech pouch. Tech stuff in here. It's really meant more for a... Uh, I think a toiletry kit or a first aid kit style of thing, but it's flexible. You can put whatever you want in here. And I've been trying to test it out as a, as a tech pouch. By the way, I've got a, a tech pouch roundup video coming shortly where I'm going to throw a bunch of tech kits and tech pouches together and, and just kind of go through the pros and cons of each one. And there's about five or six we're going to look at. So hit subscribe if that sounds like something you'd be interested in seeing. Now, the thing that... I've got in here that helps me make this bag stand up is a camera cube. This is the Tenba portable camera cube. It's a fantastic little product where you can turn any backpack uh, that doesn't have a camera cube into a camera backpack. So nice to have, but you can kind of see how big it is. Uh, I had this in the bottom, have my camera in there and that helps the bag stand up because without it, Without that in the bag, the, ba the bottom kind of folds up like this, and the, there's zero chance the bag stands up on its own, especially when you've got this top pocket loaded with, with tech gear, and you've got the laptops in here kind of standing up. They just, they just, it just guaranteed falls forward. So unless you put something 
in the bag to help keep it stable, it's definitely gonna fall over. There are no other interior organizational pockets in here. This is just one of those bags that you just dump all the main stuff into, any of the big stuff into the main pocket and you access it from the top and then the, the organizational elements are all in the exterior pockets. And I think that's a really great setup because a lot of times I want quick access to the things I need, the, the tech organizer and the laptops and maybe the water bottle pockets. So overall, I think it's a really well thought out bag, but there are a couple cons I want to point out real quick. We already talked about the logo. This thing is, I hate the logo. This should be a black logo. The next thing is that it doesn't stand up on its own. It should have some sort of plastic base in there to, or, you know, re, let's make it out of recycled material, but it should have something in there that helps it stand up on its own. That makes a, a daily commuter bag much more useful. And then the last little thing that's kind of a, a con, but it's okay, is that up here in the top, in these, where these, where all these zippers come together, uh, right in here, it can be, it can get, it can become a little bit of a traffic jam for the zippers. There's a lot of fabric in here that's folded up in different ways and going in, in all tucked and sewed in there and, and your zippers can get a little jammed up um, and it can be a little tricky to, to get the, the zippers for this, this pocket out here. Um, they can get kind of caught down in there and it can be a little tricky, but it's not, it's not a big deal. Just a little minor, a minor thing. It's definitely a contender on my list of daily carry bags that I try and find a daily carry bag that works for what I need. And this is, this is really close to, to what I need. So when I bought this bag from the North Face, I bought several other bags also, and those reviews are coming up soon. So if you're in the North Face bags, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.